You know, friends, when it comes to trying to find a straight-faced defense to your crimes, Donald Trump is a hot mess. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, for some time now, we've been hearing Donald Trump and some of his criminal defense attorneys saying that he's going to raise what's called an advice of counsel defense. In other words, that's Donald Trump claiming that, well, you know, if I did anything wrong on and around January 6th, um, I was relying on the advice of counsel. Yeah, that's the ticket. My attorneys told me I could do it. They said it's all good. So, you know, when I went about trying to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, it was because I was relying on the advice of counsel. Recall the reporting, friends? This from Reuters, and that article begins, former President Donald Trump and his defense counsel in the U.S. Justice Department's case accusing him of illegally attempting to overturn his defeat in the 2020 presidential election have repeatedly told television interviewers that Trump was merely following guidance he received from his lawyers, including a constitutional scholar. Well, friends, special counsel Jack Smith had a little something to say about that, and he filed a motion with Judge Tanya Chutkin, who is presiding over Trump's D.C. federal prosecution, not to be confused with his Florida federal prosecution or his Georgia state prosecution or his New York state prosecution. Jack Smith filed what I'll call a put-up or shut-up motion asking Judge Chutkin to rule that if Donald Trump is really going to claim he was acting on advice of counsel when he tried to overturn the results of a presidential election, he must put up or shut up. He must give formal notice of his intent to raise that defense at trial. Why? Well, because if somebody raises an advice of counsel defense, guess what? The attorney-client privilege goes, poof, evaporates, gone. And everything that Donald Trump told those lawyers and everything those lawyers told Donald Trump are fair game for prosecutors. They get to know what was being said back and forth between the attorney and the client. Only fair, right? If the client is going to say, well, if I committed crimes, I was acting on advice of counsel. Well, Judge Chutkin just ruled on Jack Smith's motion. Former President Donald Trump must formally declare whether he intends to argue he was acting on the advice of his lawyers as a defense strategy in the Washington, D.C. election subversion case, a federal judge ruled Wednesday. U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin partially granted a motion by special counsel Jack Smith's office requesting the declaration in her three-page order Wednesday requiring Trump to file the formal notice by January 15th, 2024. An advice of counsel defense is a legal defense in which a defendant argues that he relied in good faith on the advice of his lawyers that his course of conduct was legal and that he made full disclosure of material facts to his lawyers before receiving that advice. When a defendant invokes such a defense in court, he waives attorney-client privilege for all communications concerning that defense, and the government, that is the prosecutors, are entitled to additional discovery and may conduct further investigation. And friends, here's just a little bit of Judge Chutkin's newly released opinion and order. The government has filed a motion for formal pretrial notice of the defendant's intent to rely on advice of counsel defense. The advice of counsel defense requires a defendant to introduce evidence that, one, he relied in good faith on the counsel's advice that his course of conduct was legal, and two, he made full disclosure of all material facts to his attorney before receiving the advice at issue. By invoking the defense, the defendant waives attorney-client privilege and must therefore disclose 
to the government, to the prosecutors, one, all communications or evidence the defendant intends to rely on to establish the defense, and two, any otherwise privileged communications the defendant does not intend to use at trial, but that are relevant to proving or undermining it, it being the advice of counsel defense. And in granting Jack Smith's motion in part, the judge goes on to say, if defendant Trump does provide affirmative notice of that intent, he must also provide the required discovery to the government, the prosecutors, at that time. Any communications or evidence Trump intends to use to establish the defense and otherwise privileged communications that Trump does not intend to use at trial, but that are relevant to proving or undermining the advice of counsel defense in their entirety. Okay, friends, now let's look at what a meandering mess Donald Trump has been as he searches in vain for a defense to his crimes. Who was his primary personal lawyer all along? Rudy Giuliani. Advice of counsel? Relying on the sound, sage, circumspect advice of the learned Rudy Giuliani? Remember these headlines? This from the New York Times, Giuliani's drinking, long a fraught subject, has Trump prosecutors' attention. How about this one from Salon? Jack Smith's team questions witnesses about how drunk Rudy Giuliani was while advising Trump. And that article begins, Special Counsel Jack Smith's team of prosecutors has repeatedly questioned witnesses about former Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani's drinking habits on and after Election Day in 2020 as part of an effort to discern if the former president was taking legal advice from a potentially intoxicated personal lawyer. And that article reads in part, Special Counsel Jack Smith's team of prosecutors has repeatedly questioned witnesses about former Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani's drinking habits on and after Election Day in 2020 as part of an effort to discern if the former president was taking legal advice from a potentially intoxicated personal lawyer. You know, friends, whereas advice of counsel might be a legitimate defense under some circumstances, advice of drunk counsel, not so much. So, of course, Donald Trump then changes course. Trump says it was his decision to persist with 2020 election challenges. And that Reuters article begins, Former U.S. President Donald Trump said he dismissed the views of his own lawyers in continuing to challenge his 2020 defeat because he did not respect them, saying in an interview aired on Sunday that he made up his own mind that the election had been rigged, a false claim that he continues to make. Trump, the front runner for the Republican nomination to take on Democrat, Democratic President Joe Biden in the 2024 election, is now facing four concurrent criminal prosecutions, including two involving his attempts to overturn his 2020 loss to Biden. Quote, it was my decision, Trump told NBC's Meet the Press program, that the election was rigged against him, adding that he relied heavily upon his own instincts in coming to that conclusion. Trump has continued to make false claims that the election was stolen from him through widespread voter fraud. Okay, friends, consistency has never been Donald Trump's strong suit, but in a fairly short period of time, he went from saying, I'm going to raise an advice of counsel defense, which quickly devolved into, well, maybe I'm going to raise an advice of drunk counsel defense. And then more recently, he said publicly, uh, I'm going to raise an advice of my own instincts defense. You know, I kind of like that one best. You know why? Because his instincts are criminal. 
And friends, let's finish with this. Let's put an exclamation point on just how bad Donald Trump's advice of counsel claim is. Remember who the lawyers were that were, you know, surrounding Donald Trump, advising Donald Trump after he lost the 2020 election. They were all scheming and conniving, trying to come up with ways to overturn the election's results, deny Joe Biden his rightful win. Of course, his actual lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, but there were all these other characters like Sidney Powell and John Eastman and Kenneth Chesbro and perhaps others. Well, here's the problem with Donald Trump's advice of counsel claim. All of these people, these people I just named, they're not really Donald Trump's lawyers, but you know what they are? They're his criminal associates. They're his co-conspirators. They're actually his charged co-defendants in the Georgia State RICO prosecution. He wasn't taking advice from these people, legal advice, legitimate legal advice. He was conspiring with them to commit crimes, to overturn a free and fair presidential election. He was conspiring with them to commit crimes to override the will of the American voters. And you know what is probably the poorest defense of all? It's the advice of co-conspirators defense. That's even worse than the advice of drunk counsel defense. It's even worse than the advice of my own instincts defense. The advice of my criminal associates my co-conspirators, my partners in crime, my charged co-defendants. You know, friends, I've said it before and I'll say it again because I believe it to my core. Once the prosecution is up and running and the case in federal court in Washington, D.C. is being tried to 12 people sitting in a jury box as the conscience of the community, you know, based even just on the publicly available evidence, that jury will convict Donald Trump so fast it will make his head spin.